Alright, hello guys, Dirty Fargo here, and this is going to be my first video on my new channel. I have an old channel which is named Dirty Fargo, but I am starting a new, and there's a video on my old channel explaining why I'm starting a new, but I just wanted to do something kind of mindless um, for this video. So I'm just going to be doing some general caving, but I wanted to do something mindless because I wanted to give any new viewers who might find my channel a... Uh, insight as to, to who I am and what kind of videos I make. So I do LPs and I mm, I tell stories mostly, but I also, um, my specialty is mob farming and over here where we started we have the, the, we have a quad, no, this one is a penta spawner so there's five spawners all within range and I'm gonna work on that. That is my specialty really is mob farming and I also do Hardcore and ultra hardcore series, some PvP, some teamwork, some solo. I have a few series, like a series already started on that on my old channel, but I'm going to continue them on here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to upload all my old episodes. I might just favorite them into a playlist or something, because that's easier than re uploading. But I'm going to be doing all my mind. This is gonna be a strictly Minecraft channel, and all my other games are gonna go on my old channel. So yeah, uh, right now I'm on the Equitycraft server. This is a server that I help run with, along with my friend Zio. And yes, we run this server. It is a vanilla server. It is survival, all completely legit. I do a lot of Let's Plays on here. Um, sometimes I do some collaboration, dual comms with some of the people that are on here. And so sometimes I just go solo like I am right now and maybe tell some stories. So that is who I am. And you better love me because I love you so much. I can't even begin to describe how much. It's getting a little weird, I know, but I want, I want you guys to know, you know. I don't want you guys to be feeling like, oh, he doesn't even love us. No, I love you. Like, I love you more than I love Minecraft, which is... That says a lot, I'm sorry, but it's probably my number one love, or it used to be my number one love, Minecraft, and until I met you guys, and then whew, shit done changed, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, so on this server, we have pretty much every kind of XP farm you could possibly imagine. We've only got a few people on right now, but there's about, psh, I don't know, 25 members on this server, and Team Equity has 10 LPers. I think there might be one or two more LPers, but the people who are helping towards um, the server channel, which is Team Equity, are there's ten of us. Another thing that I like to do quite a bit is express my opinions on certain certain things. I do that a lot, actually. Um, I kind of like this as like a way to vent my opinions when I'm like pissed off about something. Usually. All right, so I thought of a good story I could tell you guys. Not really a story. It's I don't know. You'll see. Back in second year university me and my friend another guy who plays on our server actually we went to we lived in I'm, I'm from Canada by the way and we went and we lived in France for a semester of school and we did it through this program that was at our university and we just took some business courses over over in France and lived there for about six months yeah that was a really cool experience actually but there was some kind of weird stuff that I learned about France <laughs> kind of really weird. I don't know if this is just all Europeans, but I'm thinking it's just the French people mostly. I'm all for, you know, joking around about homoerotic things, like I'm all for the jokes and stuff and it's all when it's all fun and games, but some of the stuff that they were doing was a little bit creepy. And I understand that like lots of European places they just kiss on the cheek and that's like whatever. Okay, so like I got over that even though I didn't really let them do it to me. <laughs> but there there were a few gay people that we did meet that were gay. You know, they were open about it. It wasn't like here where everyone's all self conscious about it. And it was fine, whatever. But even the ones that were considered you know like players or they they just they're totally all about the the ladies nice diamonds even they were acting very very gay and i have nothing against gay people it's just it was just weird to me because i am not that way and they were just acting like that normally and, and they weren't gay in any way like for instance they would sit on each other's laps and massage each other just as friends, you know, a nice friendly gesture. Like, what? <laughs> uh, just like, I couldn't imagine what 
what would happen if you tried to do that to your friend living here <laughs> you'd get your ass kicked probably but yeah th that was one of the things they did i don't even want to say some of the other things they did but it was kind of funny because one of our f french friends that we met there he um he knew that we weren't okay with it and he kept constantly telling everyone you know they don't think it's funny you know it's it's weird to them it's not you know just because it's it's normal for us and it's all fun and games it's it's weird for them and <laughs> Yeah, it definitely was. I'm glad that he was there to, to help everyone understand how weirded out we were by all of that. And even at, like, they were just really free and open, I guess you could say, in the way that they, they did things, you know? They, like, he explained, when we were going to a party one time, he explained, you know, we have girlfriends, but we share them and that's just how we do things like when we're all drinking you know it's okay to like make out with your friend's girlfriend you know maybe not for us because we're not like fully their <laughs> their good friends yet but like if it's a friend it's it's okay for them and it wasn't like an orgy party or something like that but it was just like yeah you could make out with my girlfriend it's like whatever you know we all we all do those things <laughs> I don't know, they probably did more with each other's girlfriends, but I, I didn't see it. But other than that, France was a really cool experience. Like, this one girl we met, I guess she was very, very wealthy. And um, her family owned four castles. And when I say castles, I mean real freaking castles. Like, medieval times castles. And they're massive. <laughs> and she for her birthday party, she had like a, a huge party at one of her castles and it was crazy man i wasn't used to it at all there was like catered food you know like little butlers going around and offering drinks and wine to everyone it, it was really classy but at the same time not because it was in reality it was it was a bunch of university students but young people you know partying hard but at the same time it was classy because, <laughs> because of the setting that we were in and i always find it to be a little bit classy when you're drinking wine but yeah, I also vis vid visited Spain and um, Amsterdam in that trip. Yeah, I guess that's my story about France. It's just, uh, I was just going to throw that out there. Has anyone else had that experience? Because, like, I know no one's going to believe me. I know it. But I'm telling you, the people I'm talking about were not gay. And they would do these things. Like, I did meet gay people. They were open about it. They would have told us. But anyways, that's my story for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my stuff. Um, I forgot to mention that I'm also a director for Tangible Ga Gaming, the, the network channel. If you like my stuff, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If not, let me know what I can do to win your vote over or improve my content because I'm always looking to improve. So any feedback is greatly appreciated. And once again, you guys are my besties. Love you forever. And I gotta go. I gotta go to work. So I am... Out.